What's going on, everyone? Chris from PickDogs.com here with your free pick in the Texas Rangers versus Seattle Mariners Major League Baseball matchup going down Wednesday, April 24th, 2024. Just a reminder, if you haven't already, make sure you're subscribed to our channel and smash that thumbs up. And if you're looking for my best bets, the games that I love, including my daily $19 best bet, make sure that you head on over to PickDogs.com and click the Premium Picks tab at the top of the page. Also, make sure you check out my 2024 Major League Baseball Grand Slam Season Pass. This is for the betters that are betting $1,000 or more per game on Major League Baseball this season. But what it's going to get you access to is the waiting and rating of my first, uh, excuse me, my plays for the first time. You're going to know where my biggest bets on the board are. It's also going to get you access to my nerfies and yurfies and my first five plays as well as plays that I make throughout the day based on things like money moves, line moves, pitching changes, and lineup changes. You know, right now, $1,000 unit betters are up 37 and a half units over the last week. So that sounds like something you're interested in. That's the kind of bankroll that you're working with. Text 775-636-7674. We'll get you some more information. But let's get to this one between the Texas Rangers and the Seattle Mariners. The Texas Rangers sending out John Gray to the mound in this one, while the uh, Seattle Mariners will counter with Bryce Miller. And Miller's pitched extremely well after that rough start in his debut against the Red Sox back on March 31st, where he gave up four runs over six hits, over uh, five innings of work, a pair of home runs. But since then, you know, 19 and a third innings of work, all three starts that he's made in that stretch have all been won by Miller, 3-0. You know, he's given up just one earned run, two runs total, seven hits, 18 strikeouts to five walks. So Miller pitching extremely well right now and gets a matchup against the Texas Rangers team that, you know, has been okay against uh, righties, hitting just 231. But I'll tell you, they are not striking out all that much. You know, an 18.1% strikeout rate. And like I said, with how often, you know, Miller has been relying on striking batters out to, uh, to get, do a lot of his damage. And numbers like that aren't necessarily going to help him here, especially when you consider that the Texas Rangers have the third lowest walk rate as well. Um, they're putting bat to ball right now, and uh, they're doing a good job of, of you know, putting themselves in a decent spot. And um, now, you know, they're going to have to, considering how well the Rangers have been hitting at the plate right now. Over the last week, the Rangers actually lead baseball with a 321 batting average against right-handed pitching um, going into Tuesday's action. So John Gray, you know, is going to have have some uh, have some work to do here as well. But he held his own against the Seattle Mariners last season. Two starts against the Mariners, gave up just one run combined on uh, six hits, thirteen strikeouts to one walk. You know, got, went won both starts and uh, and went seven innings in each of those two starts as well. I'll tell you, Gray just had really really solid numbers against the uh, against the Mariners last season. While Miller struggled mightily against the Texas Rangers, had just two starts, six and two thirds innings of work, gave up 13 runs on 14 hits, four strikeouts, three walks, and three home runs allowed a 17.55 ERA for Miller in those two starts. And I just think that while the Mariners have been playing the better baseball as of late, and they've been really good against right handed pitching, and the bullpen has been able to hold it down for the Mariners as well, I just feel that Gray can go deeper into this game. Give the uh, give the Rangers a solid start, given his history with the uh, the Mariners, and uh, and potentially lead the uh, lead the Rangers to a win at home here. I think the Rangers are favored at home for a reason in this one. You know, it's not often you get a guy like Miller at a at a plus price like this, but I think it just means I'm I'm going to be looking at the Rangers in this one to get the job done. So, not not when I'm rushing to the window to bet, or I'm going to have a huge bet on, but I'm going to go with the Rangers laying the uh, money line of minus one twenty six here, and that's going to be my free pick. But just a reminder, if you haven't already, make sure you're subscribed to our channel and smash that thumbs up. And if you're looking for my best bets, you can find those at Pick Dogs Premium. While you're Pick Dogs, check out our betting tools. They're 100% free. They're the best betting tools in the business and tools that you want to make sure that you have in your back pocket when you're making your best bets for the day's action. And while you're at our YouTube channel, make sure you have notifications turned on so you can be the first to be in the know when the newest content drops here at Pick Dogs. Thanks for watching. See you guys soon.